Consider the following. Have you ever wondered why one piece of clay floats and the other one doesn't? What's up with that? Well, it's because this one has a bigger surface area. The bigger surface area allows the buoyant force to react on it. See, this one when you place it in, it sinks. But this one when you place it in, it floats. Shape matters when it comes to buoyancy. See, look, they both ex displace the exact same amount of water. Yet, this one can float and the other one can't. Thank you for considering the following. Buoyant force is a force exerted on all matter from a liquid. Hi. What's your name? I'm Katie Kirkbride. How old are you? I'm 14 years old. And what do you do? Um, I was swimmer at Santa Barbara School. How does buoyancy help your career? Buoyancy helps me because it keeps me afloat when I swim and emerge in the water. Did you know that point force is greater in salt water than in pure water? This one has a bigger surface area, which lets the water create a more bigger buoyant force reacting upon it. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> Didn't do very much. <laughs> it displaced it by like nothing. The following. So please. 